Hello students, uh, this video is about the topic photoelectric effect. In the previous video, we have studied about work function of a metal and by work function we mean that the minimum energy required by the metal to so that the free electrons that are present in the lattice of that metal can come out of the metal surface or they can just escape that much minimum amount of energy required is called work function and it vary for every metal for metal to metal the work function has its own value now there are many methods by which we can provide this energy so that electron can come out from the metal surface out of all these method one of the method is photoelectric emission and in this process the electrons are emitted from a metal surface when light or electromagnetic radiations of certain frequencies like sufficiently high frequencies are incident on it then such phenomena is uh, called photoelectric emission and this effect when light of suitable frequency illuminates a metal surface and electrons are ejected by it or coming out from that surface this phenomena is called photoelectric effect and the electrons that we are getting out from the metal surface because of this phenomena are called photoelectrons. So, we can explain photoelectric effect as the phenomena of it is the phenomena of emission of electrons from metal surface when light or electromagnetic radiations of suitable frequency are incident over it. This phenomena is called photoelectric effect and these electrons which come out of metal surface during this phenomena means during photoelectric effect. are called photoelectrons. So, here I have used the phrase light of suitable frequency, right? This is important. Not every light is capable of fo showing photoelectric effect. There are certain frequency for every metal. So, for every metal, this value of frequency is different and the minimum value of frequency that is required by the metal to show photoelectric effect is called threshold frequency for that particular metal and every metal has its own threshold frequency and above that frequency it starts showing photoelectric effect. Uh, below that frequency the energy is not sufficient so that electrons can come out of the surface it means photoelectric effect can only be observed above this suitable frequency at or above this suitable frequency and this value of frequency is called threshold frequency for that particular metal. Now we are moving to the experimental study of this photoelectric effect. So experimental study of photoelectric effect was done by Leonard and Millikan. Uh, they make an arrangement that we have shown here in the diagram. So in the arrangement uh, they used this arrangement to study photoelectric effect. It consists of an evacuated glass or quartz chamber or tube. Uh, this is a glass or quartz tube and it is evacuated and it encloses a photosensitive plate that is this C. So, here C is a photosensitive plate. Now, by photosensitive we mean that when light is incident on this plate, it starts ejecting electrons. Okay. So, initially it was not known, but when they perform this experiment, then they come to know that this is a photosensitive plate and after a suitable frequency or the after a suitable frequencies radiation, 
when incident on this photosensitive plate then the electrons from this plate get ejected and at this end there exists a metal plate this is another metal plate which is used to collect those electrons which are ejected by this photosensitive plate now other than that there is a window that is of quartz this is the quartz window w which is which actually sealed this glass tube and allow the radiations to illuminate this plate c so this quartz window is used by us to illuminate the photosensitive plate c right after that when this radiation hit the photosensitive plate the electrons are emitted by this plate c this act as a cathode and collected by the plate a which act as a anode or collector right this act as a as an anode or collector now the two electrodes are connected we can see here these two electrodes cathode and anode are connected to a high tension battery through a key and a potential divider arrangement is made here to control the values of current now the electrode c is connected to the midpoint of that divider arrangement while electrode a you can see that this c electrode is connected to the midpoint of potential divider and this an electrode a is connected to this potential divider with positive or negative potential as per the requirement so we can change the value of this end and it depends on our readings what we are taking we can vary it from positive or negative potential with respect to the plate c with respect to the value of plate c we can change it and when the monochromatic radiations of suitable frequency from the source s fall on the plate c electrons are emitted which are get collected by the plate a and since electrons are flowing here so the circuit get completed and a current is start flowing in the circuit and the current is called photoelectric current okay so current here current here will move from positive to negative direction of electron is from negative to positive and the current which we get here in this arrangement is called photoelectric current which flow in the outer circuit and is measured by the micro emitter placed here so basically we have a uh, an evacuated glass or quartz chamber or tube in that we have two plates first plate is photosensitive photosensitive plate c this is photosensitive plate c it act as cathode and emit electrons when radiations from source incident on that plate the second one is collector plate it's a simple metal plate it's made of metal and it work as anode then after that we have a potential divider arrangement in that arrangement we connect c to the midpoint c to the midpoint and position of a position of the and which is connected to a this can vary as positive or negative with respect to c with respect to that cathode and the electrons that are coming from c to a these electrons are called photoelectrons and because of flow of photoelectrons we get electric current in external circuit and that current is called as photo current because it is because of the flow of photo electrons that's why we known it as photo current and this is the electric current flowing in external circuit like this and ex this external circuit 
and it happened because of this flow of electron right so because of this photo electrons these electrons are called photo electrons and because of these photo electrons we get electric current in external circuit which is measured by the micro emitter and that current is called photo current so that's all for the photoelectric effect in next video we will be studying about the factors that affect photoelectric current for that stay tuned and keep studying thank you